what's up everybody, Nightbatman here doing another trailer reaction of course once again and I am really excited because we finally have our first look at Captain America Civil War and this is one of the movies I'm most excited for for phase 3 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Of course besides uh, the Infinity War part 1 and 2. So I'm just going to get right into that trailer because I have been waiting to see some footage from this. in your shoes. You're a wanted man. I don't do that anymore. Well, the people who think you did are coming right now. And I'm planning on taking you alive. Captain, while a great many people see General you Ross. as a hero, there are some who prefer the word vigilante. You've operated with unlimited power and no supervision. That's something the world can no longer tolerate. I know how much Bucky means to you. Stay out of this one, please. It'll only make this worse. You saying you'll arrest me? There will be consequences. You seem a little defensive. Well, it's been a long day. I think I accept limitations. We're no better than the bad guys. That's not the way I see it. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. I just want to make sure we consider all our options. Just people that shoot at you usually wind up shooting at me, too. You know what's about to happen. Your way out of this. Oh! What do we do? We fight. Black Panther. Oh shoot! Oh. Sorry, Tony. You know I wouldn't give this fight any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. Oh! Oh shoot! Oh, the beating edge armor. Oh! oh. That was one hell of a trailer. Okay, now, there is so much going on right with this trailer. First of all, the feels, of course. You can see that the friendship between Bucky and Steve are uh, strong as ever. And it's great to see that Bucky has his memory back and you can see their friendship back in full strength. Now, uh, I gotta talk about some of the comic book moments about this that really have me excited. The movie is actually based on the Civil War storyline in the Marvel comics, where basically a big catastrophe happens that involves superheroes and so that caused... Uh, uh, a big uproar in uh, the public, the public's eye because they think that superheroes should be monitored and uh, it was cool seeing General Ross in the trailer and uh, a lot of what he mentions is really echoing what is uh, the basis of that story. Basically, uh, superheroes have to give up their identities or at least register with the government so that they can finally be accountable for uh, all of their actions and all the consequences from their actions. and. I really got goosebumps in how they revealed Tony in this trailer. I uh, I was really expecting him to come in earlier, but when he finally appeared, it it sh it was like perfect timing because, uh, it shows that he's there to put an end to uh Steve's uh Steve's rebellion, and it is a little bit different uh in the story where Steve is anti registration to the whole re uh superhero registration act and uh Tony is more um pro registration. Now, it doesn't really uh, get emphasized in this trailer, but it does emphasize the fact that Steve is again going uh, out of the boundaries here and he's doing what he can for his friend. And it looks like Bucky's role is a lot more emphasized in this than the Civil War story where he isn't even really that involved in the story. I don't think he's even involved at all. So it's interesting to see how that plays out and how it feels more of a more personal story for Captain America, which makes sense that they would use Civil War for this. Now, I have to talk about that last shot, first of all, because um, seeing uh, Steve and Bucky team up in actually kicking ass, uh, Tony's ass, 
that was pretty intense. I love how it's also just one shot. The camera doesn't move. It just it shows uh, Steve and Bucky just wailing on Tony, and Tony's just trying his best to um, you know protect himself. And what I liked was how in that scene it was kind of dark, so you can actually make out those little uh, art arc reactors which shows that this is drawing a lot of reference from his bleeding edge armor now that armor is based on a lot of nanotechnology it's a suit that can uh form around his body from his body basically it's nanotechnology that comes out from his body and forms the suit now it would be really cool to see if he can actually have that kind of technology here or if it's just maybe another mark 40 freaking what mark is he at 45 mark 46 i don't know i lost track uh 43 I think this is Mark 46, unless it's 47 if you include also the uh, Hulkbuster. So I got to see Black Panther very briefly, but it was a good tease at showing him. And uh, I'm glad that they're not showing too much of him. I'm glad, of course, that the Spider-Man cameo isn't going to be wasted and will be saved for the movie. I also like how we got to see um, a good shot of the people who would be joining Steve's side, but uh, we didn't really get to see the, the heroes who will be on Tony's side. Now, I'm glad that they kind of saved that and they didn't show too much of uh, the both sides uh, fighting each other because that looks like something that should definitely be safe for the movie. Now, I'm really excited for this movie. I'm definitely going to be on Steve's side and it's good that they're making his solo movie the Civil War storyline. And it kind of feels like an Avengers 2.5 kind of movie, which is great because it's kind of like a teaser for Infinity War. Uh, even though it probably doesn't lead in directly, most likely Guard of Guardians of the Galaxy will, but uh, this is a really, really great way of continuing, uh, you know, where maybe Age of Ultron left off, where Tony's trying to be a lot more responsible and actually be accountable for his actions, and which pretty much shows, you know, um, how he opposes Steve and how it all makes sense and how it doesn't feel a little too forced. It actually does feel like Tony is trying to mature as a character, but he's just probably not going about things as he properly should. So that was my reaction and my review to the trailer. I was really, really excited to see this and it was totally worth it. Uh, <laughs> this is our first footage that we've gotten and this movie is coming out kind of soon, but it was pretty worth it and I loved every second of that trailer and I'm going to definitely watch that a million times over. If you guys want to watch that trailer in its entirety, please click on the link uh, here or please click on the link in the description below. And if you guys had any other uh, favorite moments you had with this uh, trailer, please feel free to share what they were um, or what you might be excited to see in the movie. And I'll definitely check that out. And um, I still can't believe that General Ross actually showed up in this. I really hope that we can see Betty come back and maybe see that Bruce Banner and Betty Ross connection again. But if not, it's okay. Besides, this is a Captain America uh, movie, so uh, we got to keep the focus on him. So thank you guys so much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed my reaction and my review. And I hope you guys have enjoyed also that trailer as well. So thank you guys for watching and take care. Later.